the store loyalty programs. You can't seem to buy anything without being asked to join one. Are you a member of our Rarely Rewards Club? Let's see, um, oh, I've got my frequent foot deodorizers, Constant Clutter Club, Vasectomy Value Club. Fifth one's free. Over 70% of Australians are members of one of the many, many, many loyalty programs out there. They say our loyalty is rewarded with discounts, travel and exclusive benefits. Even Crown's online gambling business has one. You don't have to be lucky to stay here. Crown Bet Rewards members earn reward points to be used on Crown hotels, restaurants and even money can't buy experiences. See, you don't need to be lucky to go to Monaco. You just need to bet over $5 million through Crown Bet. The aim of loyalty programs is to keep customers coming back to the same place and spending more money there. One example is the good old-fashioned coffee card. Buy seven, get one free. They're simple and they work. One study showed people buy coffees more quickly when they get closer to their freebie. Woo! Free coffee! Every eighth coffee free is the equivalent of a 14% discount per cup which is great for customers, but big chain store loyalty schemes are rarely so simple or so generous. As one article put it, businesses are trying to create incentives good enough to change behaviour, but not so generous they erode margins. Certainly changed my behaviour. <laughs> so how do these schemes work? Many loyalty programs have tiered status levels like gold, silver or bronze. Hi, I'm a platinum member. You've just reached Zirconium. The benefits of status like dedicated check-in, luggage tags or priority boarding appeal as much to our pride as anything else. In fact, studies show that we seek higher status even when it provides no tangible benefit, with one saying that status can act as a free motivator of consumer choice. And like a free coffee, when we're on the cusp of going up or down a status level, we often spend more. Although only certain people like the tiered status systems. Now, put my luggage in the humidor. I'm off to the Plutonium Lounge. So long, peasants. Then there are the schemes that give you free vouchers and gift cards. Happy birthday, insert name. Oh, they remembered. One pharmacy scheme said that its birthday vouchers make three times what they cost because once shoppers are in store, they'll buy something extra or something more expensive. So remember, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Here's your free lunch. A free lunch? I'll buy three more lunches. Maya's birthday voucher might seem generous, but it's only $10 and... These are the exclusions. That's right, you can't even use your Maya birthday voucher on... Maya branded products. But of course, most of us aren't in it for the birthday vouchers. <sighs> what we really want is the points. Which we can redeem for awards. One sticky hand. Trouble is, they aren't very rewarding. In fact, that's the point. Coles and Woolworths points cost around a dollar to earn and are worth about half a cent. So while a coffee card might be a buy seven, get one free deal, supermarket reward points are worth so little, they're more like a buy 200, get one free deal. Here's your coffee card. All right, only 192 more to go. I'll go call the ambulance. We'd almost never bother with these points if we knew how little they were actually worth. But loyalty programs make earning and redeeming the points really complex. So it's hard to know how much value you're actually getting. Yes, it's what's called a Confuseopoly. It's the Confuseopoly man. <laughs> with a flybys card, how many points do you earn for each dollar you spend? Uh, one point. At Coles. Or three points, or ten points, or half a point, depending on where you shop. Uh, OK. What if you use the Accor loyalty program to stay at the Abyss Hotel? Um, I think that's pronounced Ibis. You get 12.5 points, or 15.5 points, or 22 points, depending on your status level. Well, OK, well, how much are these points worth if I redeem them? Who knows? If you buy this iPad entirely with Flybys points, they're worth about half a cent. OK, Ah, well... uh, but if you use Points Plus Pay, then they're only worth 0.4 cents. Wait, wait, so my points lose 20% of their value 
just because I use some of my own cash? Doesn't make any sense. Exactly. One checkout viewer found that to book a hotel room, it was $453. But to make the exact same booking using his loyalty program, it was $481 plus 4,000 velocity points. So using his loyalty points was actually costing him money? What a crock of shit. Ship, yes, ship, there it is. Thing is, these points are used to influence some of our biggest financial decisions. You get points for life insurance, buying property, even mortgages can earn you points. But we can change the value of the points at any time and for any reason. Last year, checkout viewer Trevor took out a NAB home loan because it came with 250,000 velocity frequent flyer points. Which they said would be enough for a holiday for two to London. <laughs> Advance to Mayfair. But just a few months later, Virgin changed their point system and suddenly Trevor didn't have enough for the flights. Well, sounds like he won second prize in a beauty contest. That doesn't make any sense either. No, you're getting it. A huge number of loyalty points never even get used. In the US, an estimated $16 billion worth of loyalty points go unused each year, including 17 trillion unredeemed frequent flyer points. I'd like to redeem my 17 trillion points, please. One ticket to the sun and a sticky hand! So how much do people know about Australia's most popular loyalty program? How much do you think you need to spend at Coles to get enough Flybys points to get the DeLonghi Icona two slice toaster. Three and a half thousand, maybe about a thousand dollars. I don't know, DeLonghi is a kind of expensive brand. It is, so. a couple of thousand? Yeah. Twenty eight thousand dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> Twenty eight thousand dollars. No way. Yeah, the Wustoff classic ten piece knife set. Fifteen thousand. Maybe four thousand. Forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars. One hundred and twenty seven thousand dollars. That is ridiculous. Final one, a return flight to London. It's exponential, I can't work it out. I don't I need a calculator. Five thousand. Five thousand? $343,000 at Coles. <laughs> you can fly around the world many times. Well, exactly. That's just ridiculous. Whether it's gifts, status or points, loyalty schemes entice us to not look elsewhere for a better deal. And if there's one thing we always say at the checkout, it's... Under the Australian Consumer No, no, right, you have... not that thing we always say. The other thing we always say... Shop around. So shop around. Shop around. Shop around. You should shop around. Shop around. Shop around. You should shop around. We're not saying you should never join a loyalty program. I mean, if you're in a store and you've got a card for that store, you might as well use it. But giving a big chain loyalty scheme all of your data and then letting that decide what store you walk into is unlikely to outweigh the benefits of shopping around. And if you're finding all these cards a bit hard to deal with, there are free apps that can store hundreds of Australian brands of loyalty cards. A free app? Amazing! I'll buy three more apps!